What's good, guys? Today is Monday, November the 30th, 2020. Uh, it's almost 1 a.m. my time, but I wanted to do one last video before I went to bed because um, it's on my mind. Why do we believe lies even after they are proven wrong? And I'm applying this article to the J4K community because that's mainly what I deal with and mainly where I see this. Why does some misinformation stick in the public consciousness? Why do people continue to believe untrue things even after they've been shown to be a lie? Researchers at the University of Western Australia who noted several instances of misinformation such as childhood vaccines cause autism, global warming is a hoax, or President Barack Obama was not born in the U.S. say that rejecting information requires more cognitive effort than simply accepting that a message is true. It's easier for a person to believe in a simple lie than to have one's mind changed by information that is new and novel. The new study led by psychologists Drs. Stephen Lewandowski and Ulrich Ecker highlights the cognitive factors that make certain pieces of misinformation stick and identifies several strategies for setting the record straight. Misinformation is especially likely to stick when it conforms to our pre-existing political, religious, or social point of view, according to the researchers. Because of this, ideology and personal worldviews can be especially different difficult obstacles to overcome. This means that if you believe something for political or religious reasons, it's far harder to change a person's mind and have them understand a fact that differs from that person's opinion. The report notes that efforts to retract misinformation often backfire. The research found that contrary to common wisdom, trying to correct misinformation actually may lead to the strengthening of erroneous belief. The researchers found that it is extremely difficult to dislodge strongly held beliefs through rational or logical methods. This was found to be especially true for social, religious, and politically held beliefs. This persistence of misinformation has fairly alarming implications in a democracy because people may base decisions on information that at some level they know to be false, Lewandowski said. At an individual level, Misinformation about health issues, for example, unwarranted fears regarding vaccinations or unwarranted trust in alternative medicine can do a lot of damage. At a societal level, persistent misinformation about political issues can create considerable harm. And on a global scale, misinformation about climate change is currently delaying mitigative action. Though misinformation is difficult to correct, the study highlights several strategies that can help counteract the power of misinformation, including provide people with an alternative account to fill the gap left by the retraction of false information. Focus on the facts you want to highlight rather than the myths. Make sure that the information you want people to take away is simple and brief. Consider your audience and the beliefs they are likely to hold and strengthen your message through repetition. Now, this was published in the Psychological Science um, magazine, and it's actually published on the psychcentral.com website, and it's from 2019. But when I think about this article in regards to the J4K community, um, once someone says something out of their mouth, there are a lot of people that take that and run with it. And I'm sure it's not just um, unique to the J4K community, but again, that's what I'm speaking on. So, um, just like the uh, Selena Gomez and the kidney transplant. Um, I did the video on that today. And um, I had a great subscriber send me a video. And I watched the video. And it was a very short video on... Um, a lady walking through the Crown Plaza that had a cap on, a ball cap. And that certain YouTuber had taken a picture of Selena Gomez 
of an unknown date and was showing her in a ball cap. So as to imply that that was her on the footage. <laughs> um, and, and I couldn't get all the way through the video because I just, I couldn't. But people watched that video. I think it had like six, seven hundred views on it. And it was from like a year ago. And I guarantee you that there are people that watch that and ran with that based on just that video. When that's completely untrue. That is absolutely not true. <laughs> uh, Selena Gomez had her kidney transplant in the summer of 2017. Kanika passed away in September of 2017. So it would be humanly impossible for that to have happened. But, uh, again, a lot of people saw that video and um, they saw a female with brown hair, a brunette, in a ball cap, walked through the lobby of the Crown Plaza and said, Ha! Huh, that is her. That's Selena Gomez. It looks like her. When I can name you 50 million other people that would look just like that in a ball cap. Uh, me included. Uh, my neighbor included. A lady I work with included. A lady that I saw at the gas station earlier included. So you can see how that can be so misinterpreted. And when you have people that are putting out false information, um, it's, it's really unfortunate because you get someone new in the J4K community and they hear a video or watch a video such as that and they take that and run with it. Um, not every time, but it does happen quite a bit. So I get a bit frustrated when I hear that. Um, anyone that is blatantly, blatantly putting out lies in the J4K community is not here for the right reason. Um, sometimes they're here to stay relevant. Um, sometimes they're here because they're bored. They don't have a life at home. And they've done Kanika videos for um, since the beginning. And... Um, they don't have anything else to do. There's a lot of different reasons why people are here. But I just strongly encourage you to do your research and pay attention to what you're watching and what you're listening to. And, and don't just take it at face value and run with it. Do some research on it. Um, and it's hard to then go back for a YouTuber to go back and try to put out the truth after that's been said. Because once it's heard that first time, it's hard to change your mind. Especially, just like this article is saying, especially if, say, your religious views are a certain way or your societal views are a certain way. and Or you've just made your mind up about the case and that's it and that's all. It's going to be really hard to show you the truth because, number one, you don't want to believe it. I've had that happen myself. There's been certain things in this case that I did not want to be the truth. And as bad as I didn't want, to be the, want it to be the truth, it was the truth. And I had to accept it and move on. So, I just wanted to do this video um, to just kind of show why... Sometimes it's hard to change the mind of people and get them to let go of that misinformation so that they then can clear their mind and hear the truth. On that note, I'm going to end this video. But you guys have a great morning. Thanks for watching.